Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody. I'm not certain why we're doing things in this order, but we have another new hero this month. It is Mercury, the speedster of Menagerie Comics, created by Insom. I've been very much looking forward to this deck because Mercury is cool, and his deck and his art and his story are a lot of fun. He has the dubious pleasure of facing Bloodleashed Apex alongside Hydro Force Argent Adept, ladies, please calm yourselves, Ministry of Strategic Science, Lady of the Wood, and Pseudo fighting in the Central Command team. Mercury, of course, comes in a cool box with his story on the back. It says Halcyon Silver Sun is here to save the day. Latest member of the Lauded Gale family, protectors of Halcyon for generations, Mercury bears the heavy burden of legacy. Not, you know, the legacy, but just the word in general, as he tries to make his own way. Regardless, Mercury cannot stand by while others are in danger and will use all his power and will to rescue those in need. Play as Mercury in the multiverse's favorite superhero card game, protecting your teammates from danger with super speed and grit as you take on whatever villainous adversary decides to threaten the world this time. In this case, a blood magic frenzied werewolf. And of course, he has a cool trading card, which you can go check out for yourself to learn his various stats. That's all we need to know because Apex just shuffles his deck and gives us two collections. Here we go. When a werewolf enters play, destroy a hero ongoing card. When a werewolf is destroyed, reveal cards in the villain deck until an ongoing is revealed, put into play, shuffle the reveal cards into the deck, start of the villain turn if Magistra Jamaris is not in play. Yeah, she's basically indestructible in this game. Search the villain deck and trash for her, put her into play, and shuffle the villain deck if you searched it. Then she deals the target other than herself with the lowest HP, three infernal damage. A hero takes damage as way, play the top card of the villain deck. And the villain turn, Apex kills the hero target with the highest HP, two minutes. Alien 2 Infernal Damage. Wow. Yeah, so Magistra Damaris is basically here to stay. There's kind of no point in trying to take her out because she comes into play and then she deals the damage. When Werewolf is destroyed, each villain target gains 3 HP. That's a problem. And then in the villain turn, she does stuff. Okay, and then he gets to play a... Let's see. Then she hits the lowest, which is Lady of the Wood. So we play the top card of the villain deck. Making of an alpha, the two non-villain targets highest HP deal each other 3 melee damage. That is Pseudo and Mercury. Either of those targets has fewer HP than Apex, they both do. Play the top card of the villain deck, and it's Flint. And then he actually gets to play a card. That was all start of the villain turn. No shortage of wolves, of course. Oh, jeez. Okay, end of turn, he gets the highest for four. That's Pseudo. Magister Damara steals each non-vampire target. One irreducible infernal damage. Well, that's cool. She'll help a little bit. Worth noting, in this form, Apex does not take less damage from targets with less HP than him, so that's like the balancing factor. Flint does, though, and he hits the highest for four, and that is Argent Adept. And then we discard cards, so we get a werewolf. It's Gumbo. Hooray. The best boy. He hits the highest for three, that's Mercury, and then he hits Apex for three. Cool. Argent Adept is going to start off his turn by using Kindness Repaid, and we'll just have each non-villain target regain 3 HP, because we just took a pounding. I don't think we want to ignore the werewolves, but focusing on Apex is definitely the way to go. Scherzo of Frost and Flame, his power is Slower Siren. Argent Adept deals a target 2 melee or 1 sonic damage, which is one of the dumbest powers you could ask for. He'll hit Apex for 2. Draw a card. She will Meadow Rush. Let's go grab Fall, and yeah, I'll go ahead and play that. We use her power to add two tokens to the element pool, and draw a card. This is not a great team. <laughs> On the upside, Pseudo has 22 HP, so he can actually hit everything. Let's do Barb Spines, and he deals each non-hero target one projectile damage. And then Power, he'll hit Apex for two, and hmm, do I want to switch to Clobbering Arms, or do I want to... Let's do some Barb Spines for a round. Draw a card. Okay, so... Mercury will start off with quick hits. Mercury deals a target, one melee and one sonic damage. How about Apex? Draw a card to play a card. Off of that, we'll play Sickening Spin. Mercury deals up to two targets, two toxic damage each until the start of your next turn. Reduce damage dealt by targets dealt damage this way by one. She deals irreducible damage. Yeah, okay, so let's hit Apex and Flint with that. His power is shifting momentum. Draw a card. Mercury re regains a hit point. So heal one and draw two, and that's his turn. We're off to a pretty good start. Central Command Team plays La Luna. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the deck with the every card has multiple states thing going on. At the end of the environment turn, you may choose a hero. You may change all damage that heal hero deals to Sonic and increase it by one at the end of the next environment turn. At the end of the environment turn, if a hero dealt Sonic damage since the end of the last environment turn, enhance. Okay, so technically, this does not enhance right now because there wasn't a last environment turn. I hate that ruling. I think it's stupid, but we're going to go by it. Who's going to be dealing damage? I think Pseudo could benefit from this. Yeah, let's go ahead and give Pseudo plus one damage and change it to Sonic. 
so he can become a blue streak that speeds by. All right, Magister Jamaris hits the target other than itself with the lowest HP for three infernal damage. That is Lady of the Wood. Play the top card of the villain deck. On the Blood Trail, God damn it! We get Rowan off of that. That werewolf deals here target lowest HP, three melee damage. The same person. Damage was taken this way, so we don't play an extra card. And then he gets to play another card. A wolf among sheep. Apex deals each non-villain target one melee damage, and he heals a bunch. Pseudo will hit him for three sonic damage. That's actually really nice. This was a good idea. He heals four. No targets were destroyed that way, so that's it. End of turn, it's the highest for one and one. That is still Pseudo, which means that Pseudo hits him back for three and three. Woo! Everybody take one irreducible infernal damage. Pseudo hits her for three. The highest takes three melee damage, that's Mercury. Oh, there actually were three werewolves in place, so that gets destroyed. Gumbo hits the highest for three, that is Arjun Adept, so that Pseudo doesn't hit him. And then he hits Apex, and Rowan hits the non-villain target with the second lowest for two. That is Arjun Adept. Woof. Okay, Arcane Cadence. There are four cards in this that I want. That's unfortunate. And then with his power, he will hit Apex. I guess if you have enough HP, hit the werewolves. Otherwise, oh yeah, she should have hit all of them too. Otherwise, hit Apex. Draw a card. Okay, now that she has almost single-digit HP, Lady of the Wood will meta rush. Draw a card. Let's grab, I don't know, Summer. I think I'm going to do Fire in the Clouds, because I don't have to spend any tokens for this. She'll hit Apex and... Well, actually, let's see. No, you know what? I can't get through the damage reduction, so I need to play Thunder Gray Shawl first. But I can still do some stuff with a Thunder Gray Shawl. Hit Apex, hit Rowan, probably. Reduce both of their damage by one. Draw a card. Preserved Self-Image. Get three shapes. And then off of that, we will play Clobbering Arms. It is clobbering time. He's going to clobber Rowan for three and destroy Barb's spines. Power. He will hit Apex for... I'm sorry. He hit her for four. He'll hit Apex for three and play Thick and Build off of that and heal three and destroy that and draw a card. Mercury is going to become a drama magnet. Whenever damage is redirected from another target to Mercury, Mercury regains a hit point. Power is discard two cards, draw three cards. This is one of my favorite pieces of art in a fan-made deck, I think, just because it tells a lot of stories, not just one. And he regrets everything. I'll just go ahead and use his base power. We'll draw two cards and he heals one. Oh, well, that's right, and that damage reduction wears off. Okay, the environment plays a paranoid agent. Cool. La Luna can give somebody damage type change. I think we'll keep that on Pseudo, because I'm going to have him switch back to Clobbering Arms, or possibly back to Barb Spines. And then somebody has dealt damage since last environment turn, so we enhance to El Pianto de la Luna, increase all sonic damage by one. That's good for Mercury, too. And the environment turn this card deals the three targets with the highest HP two sonic damage, then if this card didn't enhance this turn, revert it. Three highest is... Apex, and uh, Pseudo, who only takes two, and one of the werewolves, how about Flint? The Paranoid Agent deals an abnormality target two projectile damage. And if this card has no keywords, it deals each other target one projectile damage. There is nothing for it to deal damage to, and it has a keywords. Start of turn, Magister Damaris does her stupid crap and hits Lady of the Wood. I should maybe actually reduce her damage, because even though her end of turn damage is irreducible, that damage sucks. Play the top card of the villain deck, Moonless Knight. Start of the villain turn, Apex regains four HP, destroy that card. Admittedly, we're doing okay. And then he plays the pack Hungers. Oh, great. Well, it's a good thing some of them have damage reduction. All right, he hits the highest for actually two and two. That is Suda, who will take one and one. Master Demaris hits everybody for one irreducible infernal damage that includes the environment target. So Flint hits the highest for five. Jeez. Suda will take that. Gumbo hits the highest for four. That's Mercury. And then he hits Apex for four. Rowan hits the second lowest for two, which is Lady of the Wood. At least it's only two. And each werewolf deals itself one. Make that two toxic damage or just one if they already have a damage reduction. Oof. Okay, time for Musarani's harp so he can start healing himself. Deal two melee damage to Rowan. She's kind of rough. Draw a card. Okay, now Lady of the Wood will do fire in the clouds. Hit Apex, hit Magister Damaris, and hit Rowan again. Yeah, because it's irreducible. And then with her power, she can hit Apex again, and she can hit Magister Damaris again. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Draw a card. Let's do telepathic coordination, but draw three, discard two. And then power, he's going to do four sonic damage to Rowan, and we'll play Barbed Spines off of that. So he deals each non-hero target three sonic damage. He only hits Flint for two. He only hits Gumbo for two. That's okay. Destroy the other shape and draw a card. 
Okay, Mercury will play a HUD visor. You may draw an additional card during your draw phase. When a target enters play, Mercury is immune to damage dealt by that target during that turn. He's going to keep shifting momentum. Heal one and draw actually three cards. The environment plays the Honored Monk. Oh dear, I remember that one's pretty nasty. El Pianzo della Luna hits the three highest for three sonic damage again, and then it's going to revert. That is Apex, Argent Adept, and Gumbo. Paranoid Agent will hit the Honored Monk for two. Oh yeah, and then we can pick someone to deal sonic damage again. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do that for Mercury this time. The Honored Monk, whenever card leaves play, put a token on this card, and then if there are ten or more tokens on this card, it enhances. Yeah, gotta watch out for that. Okay, start of turn. Magistrate of Mars hits the lowest for one. Lady of the Wood is still gonna die pretty soon, but that's better than nothing. And that gets us on the blood trail again. Gets us Timber, and Mercury is immune to damage he deals. That werewolf deals the hero target with the lowest HP. Three, four melee damage, and we lose Lady of the Wood. Good gravy. Okay, that's a problem, because now Apex regains 4 HP, and then we destroy a werewolf with 3 or fewer HP, oh, which we have, which means Magister de Mars heals them all for 3. Oh, when werewolves enter play, I'm supposed to be destroying here ongoing cards, shit. We should have a few less of those. Yeah, we should have, like, no ongoing cards at this point. Reveal cards of the villain deck till ongoing is revealed, put into play, shelf the other cards into the deck. Good chance it's Blood Magic's boon. Cool. Start of the villain turn, which it still is, the werewolf with the highest HP deals itself two infernal damage. That werewolf is Apex, so we don't play the top card of the villain deck. He actually deals himself no damage. Start of the villain turn. So he gets to play another card, Feral Pack. Each werewolf deals a different non-villain target two melee damage. That's gone. Okay, Apex deals no damage. Let's see, we'll have one take out the agents. We'll have one hit the monk. And the last one will hit Mercury for two. Hero targets took damage this way, so we don't play an extra card. End of turn, Apex deals no damage. Magister de Mars hits everybody for one. Flint hits the highest for four, that is pseudo. Oof. Gumbo hits the highest for three, that'll be Mercury. And then he hits Apex for three. Timber hits the three highest for two each, that is Argent Adept. Mercury, who is immune, I didn't forget, and pseudo, and that's it. Also, it was all infernal damage. Not that that actually matters. Okay, Arcane Cadence. Infernal Sonata, everybody heal for the love of crap. Power, Musarani's Harp. Base power, he'll hit Apex for... Actually, no, he's going to take out the Honored Monk, because we don't want him to deal with him. And then he heals two, and he draws a card. All right, one player may play a card, add a token to your element pool, or spend a token from your element pool. If you do, a hero deals a target three damage of any type. Let's do that, and have Mercury do three, four sonic damage to Apex. Pseudo will perfect disguise. Reveal the top two cards of a deck, discard one and replace the other. Well, that's gone, and that's gone, and actually all the damage reduction is gone. Shoot. Ooh, I don't want Hunting Party. That's a rough choice. And then Power, he will hit Apex for two and play Clobbering Arms, and hit Apex for three, destroy the other shape, draw a card, hit Apex for three. Lots of damage. All right, so Mercury will make a Defiant Stand, a card that is notable because our own Nezu Chualt shows up in the text there. Search your deck or trash for a limited card. Put that card into play or your hand. Shuffle your trash into your deck. Mercury gains 2 HP. I know what card I want. It is Mach Speed Teen. You may play an additional card during your play phase. Also, I forgot to shuffle the trash into the deck. He heals too. Second card play. I think we're going to do a flash disassembly. You may destroy an ongoing card, environment card, or device with four or fewer HP. Let's get rid of La Luna. And then with his power, he'll heal one more and draw one, two, three cards. He's got all the cards now, and he's got the ability to play a bunch of them. The environment plays a central command team agent. Yay. When the environment turns card, deals an abnormality target to projectile damage. No damage is dealt this way. A hero target regains two HP. Thank goodness. That's Pseudo. Okay, start of turn. Magister de Mars does her bullshit and hits Pseudo for three. And plays the top card of the villain deck. It is a wolf among sheep. Apex deals each non-villain target two melee damage and regains HP equal to the number of targets that took damage this way. That's four. On the upside, he's close to done. But then again, so are we. Start of the villain turn. Werewolf with the highest HP deals itself two infernal damage. That is Timber, unfortunately. Play the top card of the villain deck. Hunting party. Well, shit. Reveal cards from the villain deck until the werewolf and an ongoing card are revealed. Put them into play. Shuffle the other real cards into the deck. So that means we're going to lose another ongoing card. Ugh. Rowan comes back, and she'll take out the clobbering arms. And we get... Oh, Moonless Knight! Thank goodness. I'm very okay with that. Reduce damage dealt by werewolves by two. Then he gets to play another card. Feral Pack. Each werewolf deals a different non-villain target to melee damage. No, they don't. No hero targets took damage this way. Play the top card of the villain deck. No shortage of wolves. Okay, it's time to use... 
blood-curdling recording now. End of turn, Apex deals no damage. Magister Demaris hits everybody for one. Pseudo is almost dead. Flint hits the highest for two, that'll be Argent Adept. Woo! Gumbo hits the highest for one, that's Mercury, and then he hits Apex for one. Timber hits the three highest for nothing. Werewolf deals no damage. End of each turn, each werewolf regains a hit point. We get one more werewolf, which I think there is? Yeah, Chell. There she is. She destroys another ongoing card. Oof, I don't want to get rid of Mach Speed Teen, but I also don't want to get rid of Inspiring Supertonic. Oh, Inspiring Supertonic it is. And she, I believe, deals no damage. Yeah, she doesn't deal any damage. Okay, Argent Adept is going to deal a target to Sonic Damage and destroy its three ongoing cards. He'll hit Apex, and yeah, just get rid of all three of these. Moonless Knight is useful, but it has served its purpose. And that's it for the collections. Arcane Cadence. And then, Moose Ronnie's Harp. Alacritus Subdominant. One player may play a card. How about Mercury? He'll play Halcyon Silver Sun. Whenever damage is redirected from another hero target to Mercury, increase the next damage dealt by that hero target by one. And then he can use another power. I think he will, and he'll hit Apex for two. Destroy that card. Draw a card. All right, somebody can deal some damage. The Sonic increase is gone, so it doesn't matter who deals this, but we'll hit Apex for three. Pseudo will barbed spines. He hits Apex and Magistra Demaris and takes out the agent, unfortunately. Can't hit any of the other werewolves. And then with his power, he'll hit Apex for two and we'll swap out in substantial transmutation. Draw a card, draw a card. I think we are in a spot to finish this. All right, I can play two cards. First, Defiant Stand, go grab Drama Magnet again, because that's good. Mercury regains two HP. I forgot to shuffle his trash into his deck again. And then number two, Comet Charge. Mercury deals a target X Sonic Damage, where X is the number of your ongoing and equipment cards in play, plus two. That's six, and he takes out Apex, and we win. Good lord. <laughs> Let's take a look at the rest of Mercury's deck, because that was kind of a short game. But thank goodness, because it wouldn't have gone on a whole lot longer. Silver Savior. Redirect damage dealt to other hero targets by non-hero sources to Mercury. Whenever Mercury is dealt damage, he regains two HP. At the start of your turn, destroy this card. Team Tactics. One player draws a card and uses a power. If that power deals damage, increase that damage by one. Upholding the Legacy. Mercury deals up to X targets two Sonic damage each, where X is twice the number of copies of Upholding the Legacy in play. Until the start of your next turn, you may redirect damage dealt by those targets to Mercury. Emotional Support Chips. When this card enters play, up to two targets will gain two HP each. When a hero target other than Mercury would be dealt damage, you may redirect that damage to Mercury, and if you do, destroy this card. Also, if you'll remember, this is a continuation of a card from Challenger Park, where we actually see him going and getting the chips, and I love that. Vexing Strike. When this card enters play, play it next to a target, then Mercury deals that target to melee damage. When the target next to this card would deal damage, you may redirect that damage to Mercury. If you do, reduce that damage by two and destroy this card. Also, the guy he's fighting in this picture is named Rumblebee, and I love that. Sickening Spin. Mercury deals up to two targets, two toxic damage each. Until the start of your next turn, reduce damage dealt by targets dealt damage this way by one. Run, Harry, run. Play up to two cards. And that is it. So, there you go. Mercury is a... Another addition to the litany of Speedster heroes. We have another one coming down the pipeline very soon, but he stands out from the pack and he is a very good hero. You can find him on Menagerie of the Multiverse, of course. You can find Hydro Force Argent Adept on Walker's Workbench if you really wanna. He's not that good, I don't recommend it. And you can find Central Command Team on Project Moon Sentinels. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks everybody for coming to chat. I'm very pleased to see all the faces turn out to support Mercury. Tabletop Simulator, the previous sense called DLC, Menagerie Multiverse, Walkers, Workbench, and Project Moon Sentinels, not less screening, because products, please support the official release, and flip.